What is going on, Guardians? It's your boy Wyatt, aka Wombo Combo, uh, back again with another video. Today, I'm just going to be talking about trials. Uh, today went well for your boy. I hopped on, got flawless on my first card, took like 30 45 minutes. It was a relatively quick card, and I'm going to talk about why. I had three people leave, uh, not on my team, on the enemy team, uh, three games in a row. On game three, I believe, the first person left on, on round one. And I'll show the, the clips of this happening now. Um, yeah, so game three, we win the first round, guy leaves. Uh, game four, we go to the next game, and guy on the enemy team leaves immediately. So, uh, game five, same thing. We get to game five, guy on the enemy team just leaves. It's pretty bad right now, and this is no one's fault but Bungie's. Um, you know, I'm, I understand to an extent why these people leave. I don't agree with it. Uh, and I think it's frustrating, like it sucks for their teammates. There were a few games where like after the first person left, you know, the two people, they would just jump off the map or dance or they would try and they'd almost get us, you know, they'd get it down to a 1v1 and and like if they had had a third, who knows, maybe they could have won. So it's just, it's frustrating. It definitely sucks. Um, but that's the state of the game right now. Nobody wants to sit and play Bubble Titans on zones on burnout like it i don't know what they're thinking i genuinely don't know what they're thinking like not only is it zones on burnout but the adept weapon is the bow like it's just a little goofy i don't know what trials is anymore it's nothing but immortals and and titans and especially on burnout bubble titans striker titans shields over shields it's the same thing it's been for the past like two three seasons it's it's the same stuff except now everyone has a god roll immortal in their hands and it's just frustrating to play against so i don't know it's um it's not looking good for this season i've already said that i'm pretty done with destiny as of late like i haven't been motivated to make destiny 2 content it's pretty clear why i think um I'm going to play Trials every weekend because I love Trials, but I don't like quick play. Comp is a joke. I only play comp to get my roses and then I get the fuck out of the playlist because it's miserable playing comp. So, like, yeah, I'm going to keep playing every now and then. I'm going to get on to play some PvP with my friends or get my roses for the week before it's removed from the pool. But, um, yeah, I'm pretty done with Destiny right now. I think Lightfall has been pretty miserable and pretty terrible um i think that their changes to making pve easier are terrible i've seen a lot of sentiment from higher skill players who are all saying the same thing like yeah this is a joke the game was already so easy for anyone with any semblance of skill <laughs> uh in the game and and anyone who knew how to do a build and make a good build in the game like i don't know I don't know how to feel about a lot of the stuff, a lot of the changes Bungie's making. Um, it's like beating a dead horse here. They're just appealing to the casual crowd, yada, yada, yada. I'm sure you've all heard that same talk before, so I'm not going to get into it too much. But um, there's just no reason for me to want to play Destiny right now. I have everything Lightfall has to offer. I have the best Trials weapon of all time. <laughs> like in the Adept Immortal, which won't be nerfed until next season. I wouldn't be surprised if they moved up the nerf a little bit, but um, we'll see. Bungie has a really poor track record of keeping things in line in PvP. They're a lot more uh, on top of PvE nerfs. They are usually right on it when something needs nerfed in PvE, but for PvP, we just have to sit and play and deal with it until they get around to it, so... Season of the Immortal has arrived, um, and it's in full effect. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess, you know, for me, Trials was good so far, other than the fact that it's the bow, and there's literally no reason for me to play. I just play because I love Trials. I genuinely enjoy the game mode. I wish Elimination was still a playlist, because it's my favorite game mode. And, uh, yeah, I got my Flawless, but, you know, now what? <laughs> 
it's kind of where we're at. Um, yeah, so PvP, not in the best state. I don't think it takes a rocket scientist to see that. That's another thing. Speaking of it doesn't take a rocket scientist, I found it really funny. I found it really hilarious that in their TWAB, they were like, oh, it turns out that Ikelos had full-out you know, maxed Zen moment intrinsically. We had no idea. I'm like, Bungie, that gun has been in the game since Warmind. It has been in the game since Warmind. You're telling me that when you guys went to reprise that weapon to bring it back for Season of the Seraph, nobody play tested it. Nobody. Not a single person. That that literally just shows me that they did not have anybody play test these weapons in in Crucible at least. Like in PvE, do you really notice the kick? Probably not so much, but in PvP, it's pretty fucking noticeable. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to pick up an Ikelos with 10 stability and realize that it's still a laser beam, even though it has 10 stability. Like, I don't know. It's just goofy to me. They, they obviously are so far removed from, like, the, the PvP community, and they just... They don't care. <laughs> they don't care about the PvP community is genuinely what it feels like. So, uh, yeah, they're just pretty ignorant. And I really don't like Bungie anymore as a company. I loved loved Destiny 2 for seven, eight, nine years. And I'm starting to lose that love for the game. It's really just in a really bad state. The best things that Lightfall has to offer is the exotic mission, Avalon. That mission's pretty cool. Uh, but they nerfed the difficulty on it, again, because apparently that's too hard, even though just the other day my friend Joey and I two-manned the whole thing, and yeah, I mean, we got stuck on the first boss, but it should be a challenge on Master Mode or Legend Mode or whatever it is, if you ask me. We got stuck on the second boss a few times, but we still beat it, um, but apparently it's too hard, so they're nerfing that, but it's still nonetheless a cool mission, uh, and then Strand. But, you know, those things will not be fun on your 100th play. Um, I'm not going to do Avalon ever again, to be honest. I got Vex Caliber. There's really no reason for me to do it again. I also don't really care about Vex Caliber's catalysts or anything. It's a glaive. Like, oh, it's a cool glaive. Cool. It's a glaive. I, they've been making nerfs to glaives across the board. You can't even use the Syntheseps Titan glaive build. So why would I go get the catalysts for this glaive? Like, I just, I don't see the point. But yeah, uh, according to Bungie, game too hard, need nerf, please. Uh, PvP, very fun, very cool. Uh, immortal, not broken, hashtag please buff. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Thanks for listening to me rant. Uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.